How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Boilai Hobby Time. This week, I decided to build a little diorama for Christmas inside of this baseball display case, and I am going to be giving it away. Details on how to win that are going to be at the end of the video. To start things off, I got out these wooden dowels, and initially I was going to cut them individually and then glue them together and realized that was a terrible idea. So I laid them all out on some wax paper and I used some super glue to stick them all together. That way I had one big piece of wall that I could cut into smaller pieces of wall. After I had measured that out, I took it and cut it on my bandsaw. I went online and I looked up log cabin corner joint styles because I wanted to see what kind of joint I had recreated. And I guess this one's called the Swedish Cope. I didn't recreate it exactly because I didn't carve a notch into each dowel individually. I cut one dowel up into lots of little pieces and I glued those pieces on the end to mimic the look. This is the only corner joint style that I was actually very familiar with because of constructing quite a few cabins uh, with this joint style when I was about five or six. It was the only joint option available with Lincoln Logs, so I do blame them for my lack of knowledge of any other corner joint for log cabins. I then used a cutoff wheel with my Dremel to carve out the door and the windows and then I added the frames. I then glued all of the walls together and it was time to add the gable ends. I made these the same way that I made the walls by gluing the dowels together and then I carved them into a triangle. I then added a ridge beam and I cut up a bunch of little pieces of balsa wood to make the roof. I then dremeled out a little hole for a chimney pipe to pass through. After that was glued in place, that was the cabin done. I then marked out where I wanted the cabin to sit on the base, and I drilled a hole for the light from the candle to pass through. I also drilled some holes and attached some pre-made frosty trees. In a previous video, I printed off two of these guys with different faces, and had this one lying around still, so decided to put it into this diorama. I then took them outside, and I primed them with a gray spray paint. This diorama is set in the wild imaginary west. Uh, the cabin doesn't have any high-tech gizmos or gadgets on it. Uh, not everything in the imaginary wild west will have high-tech stuff, but that's part of the charm, I think. I gave the Bigfoot a coat of white fur instead of the usual dark colors because I wanted it to be kind of like an arctic hair and have the option of going back and forth in summer and winter. I then used some UV resin to stick the cabin down to the base, and it was time to mix up some snow. To make the snow, I mixed up some soft snowflakes from Woodland Scenics and some matte Mod Podge. I added too little of the Mod Podge the first time around, so it became kind of clumpy. But after adding just a little bit more, I reached the perfect consistency. I then smeared the snow on the roof. And in terms of frosted breakfast cereals, this would probably be most similar to the great value shredded wheat as seen on this chart here. I wanted it to look like a heavy, fresh snowfall that created a winter wonderland. 
After the snow had dried, the last thing to do was to glue the Bigfoot in place. Once everything was secure, I put the glass topper on, and I called it good. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I am going to be giving this away. All you have to do to enter that giveaway is to comment on this video, leave a like, and be subscribed to my channel. That is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you to all of my wonderful patrons. You guys are great. Merry Christmas, everyone. Have a happy new year. See you in 2022.